Hey everybody, Frank here. Let's learn something new. Two billion people. Two billion people is a lot of people. No matter how you slice it or how you look at it, two billion represents a significant portion of the world's population. It also happens to be the number of people that use WhatsApp. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you use WhatsApp. I know I use WhatsApp, and why not? It's a great application for communicating with people all across the planet without paying additional charges for long distance tolls and such. You can have voice conversations, you can have messaging conversations. Most people with WhatsApp respond within a five minute time frame. It's very ubiquitous, it's everywhere you go. Plus, it's secure and it's private and it's customizable. Lots of good things about WhatsApp. This video is about much more than just WhatsApp on its own though. In this video, we're going to look at how I can integrate WhatsApp with 3CX, the sponsor of this video, to create a unified communication system. One that extends the capabilities of WhatsApp and makes it more applicable to a business or a school or an organizational environment, where I can have a more professional unified presence, where I can integrate with my CRM, my customer relationship management system, where I can integrate with my PBX, my private branch exchange. And if you're unfamiliar with customer relationship management systems or PBX systems, you can check out some links. I'll put them in the description down below. I have some other videos where I explain those concepts. But the key here is that taking that 2 billion user base and allowing them to communicate with my organization using an app that they like, WhatsApp, and of being able to respond to them in a professional way, in a unified way, to cut costs and work with those users in a way that's meaningful to them, well, that's just great communication, and that's what we're going to look at. WhatsApp is owned by Meta, formerly Facebook, and as such, what we need to do is go into the Meta development environment and create an application using WhatsApp, which we will then embed into 3CX. I'm going to demonstrate the process and explain it as we go along. But from a high level overview, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Meta Developer, we're going to allow WhatsApp to be used, then we're going to connect it to 3CX, which is going to accept the WhatsApp application that we created in the Meta Development environment. Don't worry if that sounds a little confusing. Watch as I create my own application in the Meta Development environment, how I go to 3CX and bring it into the 3CX environment, and then I'm going to get all of the benefits of having a unified communication platform. Our first step is to go to facebook.developer, which is now Meta. And when we go to developer.facebook.com, we can go into My Apps. So we'll be able to go in and create new apps here. When we see the different apps, right now I have nothing here. You can see, you can see all your apps. So I'll create a brand new app. You can create apps for many different things, for Facebook, for different types of marketing. But we're going to go to Other. So we'll go into Next. Underneath other, we'll go into business. So I'm going to see that WhatsApp is here for business. And then I'm going to create a WhatsApp app. So I'll give it a name. So I'll put in uh, 3CX Connect and we'll put that in there as, as the name. And I'll use whatever account that I want to put this onto. So often that's a business account on Facebook slash Meta. So we'll create the account. And when you create the account, we'll then configure it so that we can use it with 3CX. You can see here that there's different types of apps I can create, including a WhatsApp app. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to set up the WhatsApp app, and that's going to allow me to connect Facebook to 3CX and 3CX to Facebook. You'll go in and you'll put in an API. So you will go ahead and we'll continue. So we're gonna create a platform API here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. You can see that once I've created it, it gives me the API setup, lots of different information in here. You'll notice there's a test number in here. You would replace that with your actual number. And then what you can do is go into the uh, business settings. So once you've gone into the business settings here, make sure that you're using your own telephone ID here. You'll go in and we'll need to create an account for 3CX to be able to connect in. So we'll go in and add a new account. We'll have to accept the integrity and the privacy statements and such. We'll go in and we'll give it a name. So I'll make this 3CX. And this 3CX is going to be a user account with admin rights because it's going to be able to connect into my 
Facebook Meta account in order to talk to WhatsApp. Again, I'll receive the, the notification to make sure that I behave myself. And then I'm going to have this uh, signed user in here. So I'm going to go in and add the user. So I just created that system user. You'll see that if I go in, I'll be able to look at the different apps. You can see the app that I just generated. I'll go in and allow this user to manage this app. So this, this will have control over the WhatsApp environment. So now that asset has been added. And now you can see I've got my 3CX connector app and I've got my 3CX user with permission to it. So if I go into the WhatsApp accounts here, you can see here that I can go in, I can add people to this one here. You can see there's the 3CX system user that I just created, give them permission to manage this WhatsApp business account. And now I've got a app and a user that will both be available to me. So now what I'm going to do is generate a new token. Now this will be a complex uh, token that will allow me to connect into the 3CX connector. I'll make it so it never expires, but I can revoke it. This will give me a complex token. I blurred it out here, but you can just copy it. Now, in my case, I'm actually going to delete the app when I'm done, but uh, I, I blurred out a few things here. On this page, you'll see that we have the webhook and a place to put the token. So now on 3CX, I've gone into the admin console of 3CX. I've put in the token from Meta Facebook, and I'm going to copy the webhook from 3CX. I'll save that in Notepad for right now. And then what I'll do is I'll save that in 3CX, go back to Meta for Developers, and I'll be able to go in now, and I'll be able to go and subscribe to the object. So if I go into my webhook, I'm going to take the webhook from 3CX, I'm going to paste it as a custom URL. So I'll just paste it from the notepad where I saved it. So I'll just copy it off the notepad. Remember this came from 3CX. I'll paste it in, and now I'll be able to go in, and I'll be able to uh, uh, connect up to WhatsApp on, on Meta. So in terms of the verification system, I can just put in some, some random uh, characters in there. That doesn't really matter too much. I'll just put those in there. I'm really verifying the webhook, and I'm web, uh, verifying that this connects into uh, WhatsApp from 3CX. Now when a customer uses WhatsApp and initiates a conversation with me, it'll be a secure business conversation. They can put in a message and on the 3CX end of things, I'll receive their communication as a chat message. So this inbound communication, I can add them as a contact and I can begin having a conversation with them. This is a great thing to do for customer service, for sales, anytime I want to communicate. How cool are you? I think you're super cool because now you know how to integrate WhatsApp with 3CX for unified communications. If you want to be even cooler, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe for more videos on how we can use technology to learn, teach, and be more productive. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put a bunch of stuff in the description down below so you can get some other links and some resources, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.